Eubanks will step into the competitive world of syndicated programming coming this fall to KUSI TV. A unique rebolt of the 1950s classic game show, You Bet Your Life. And here to tell us more about it is the aforementioned Jay Leno and Kevin Eubanks back in the saddle again. Gentlemen, welcome to your San Diego home. Did he say Afro mentioned? Because that would be you. You would be Afro mentioned. I'd be <laughs> He's Afro mentioned. But yes, it is a reboot of the of the classic show because it's it's basically the simplest show you could do. Uh, you know, when I did jaywalking for 22 years on the Tonight Show, it was one of our favorite segments. Of course. And it was it really it was based on what Groucho did. You just go out and talk to people on the street. And the only difference is they can win some money now. We take two strangers who've never met, maybe like a rapper from New York City and a, a farmer. farmer lady from <laughs> Iowa. They meet on stage for the first time. And rather than compete against each other, they have to work together to get the correct answer uh, to win the money. And that's basically what it is. You know, we live in this world now. Everybody tweets and emails, but nobody does face-to-face -face contact anymore. And that's what I think humans really like. It's what we crave. I mean, it's the most fun. You know, when I did The Tonight Show, the camera was right here, me talking to somebody, and people love seeing the expressions of people's faces and reading the other people's faces. And, and that's what we'll do on this show. I, I'm really excited about it. And we'd love to get people from San Diego on the program. You know, all these TV shows, if you like to be a contestant and you live in Los Angeles, well, we like people from outside of Los Angeles. So no matter where you are, uh, go to youbetyourlife.com. It'll tell you how to be a contestant. We'll fly you in, we'll pay for the hotel, we'll do the whole deal, and you win some money, have some fun. It sounds like a good idea to me. I, but, you know, you let's concede that you are television royalty. Everyone's going to answer your phone call. But in this era of digital streaming and cord cutting, was it a tough sell to, of a reboot of a 1950s game show? No, actually, you know something? We're in 99% of the country now. And it's <laughs> everybody. You know what? You know what the secret to this is? No politics. It's a comedy show with no politics because nothing seems to divide people. Like politics, you're, you're enjoying a host and then you realize he's this or that or she's this or that. And then, oh, well, that's it. You're out. You're done. People will watch you and you get the hate mail. But when I did The Tonight Show, the idea was to make fun of both sides. The emphasis is on the comedy, not on the politics. OK, and so there's no politics. But what about the duck and the cigar? Oh, well, got, well I, I, we won't have a cigar, but I'm not sure if it'll be a duck, but we'll have the secret word. The secret word was a huge part of the show when Groucho did, and that's what we'll have. The secret word is there so people can at least win some money if they get all the questions wrong. Kevin, you handled the musical end for so long. What's your role gonna be Is there in a 30 minute show? Is there time for a lot of live music? It's gonna be whatever we can get in those 30 minutes. We're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna stick it in there. Well, Kevin's there as sort of a co-host with me because what it is is Kevin, I, I go, Kev, who we got? Jay, we got this uh, rapper from New York and Lady and Farmer. And the here. farmer from. And, yeah, and he brings them out. Episode. And if the people are no good, it's Kevin's fault. It's really simple. <laughs> you, don't, you don't blame the host. We were gonna have the duck, but since I'm <laughs> vegan, you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, can't do it. the duck, Just, yeah. Um, well, we're gonna have an artichoke. <laughs> Oh, artichoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's vegan. I don't even eat artichoke. Oh, so now we're being picky. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Now the artichoke bro will not watch the program. Well, you, can you elaborate? You, you brought it up already, but you know, if, listen, you're, you're a Hall of Fame comedian. Everyone knows that. You're first ballot Hall of Famer. But it was your interaction. It was the segments were just hobnobbing with the everyday Joe six pack that really at least in this humble uh, reporter's opinion, was just put you in a league of your own. Why, well, you know, the, why the thing are I, you so good at that? The thing that made it work was in the 22 years of doing that, we did it hundreds and hundreds of times. We never got a letter saying, oh, you made me look stupid or you made me look like a fool because we let people in on the joke. The people were making fun of themselves. I wasn't, we were never laughing at somebody. We never tricked anybody into saying something. We would just say, Who's the first president of the United States? And when they say Abraham Lincoln, you go, okay, you're close. Not Abraham Lincoln. And they go, well, who is it then? Go, okay, he's on the dollar bill. Oh, Frank. No, not Franklin. And, you know, and it, and, it, it, and it's just the people people hanging themselves with their own rope, is basically what it is. But they were always in on the joke. And that's what that's what made it fun. That's what made it exciting. So, hey, Ke Ke when did you eat an artichoke? I've never eaten an artichoke. You never eaten no, 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 no. That shocked me. Artichoke. Well, yeah, you don't eat them either. So, there. No, I, that's so true. there you go. We, so, similarities out of nowhere. That's right. <laughs> I like the idea. So, is this like 
Kevin, is this a, a comedy show with game show elements or is this a game show with Tonight Show elements? Yes. <laughs> yes. I would answer you. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It is that. There you go. Is your answer. Because well, it sounds like it's the guests that are going to be the, you know, the stars of the show. And I'd like, be before we run out of time, uh, I, I would. A good example is Family Feud. When you watch Family Feud, do you laugh at the answers? No. You laugh at the interaction between Steve and, and the family or the brother right. and the sister. And the, the fun part is, is not the answer or even who wins. The fun part is the interaction. Because, you know, we human beings, we like it. We like to see people interact. What are these bachelor shows? What? Because it's men and women trying to communicate. People trying to communicate with one another. And the idea behind this, let's find more that we have in common than what divides us. For the last couple of years, it's been, boy, here's what divides us. Here's what I hate about the other guy. Well, here's what we like about people. And that's why we're doing absolutely no politics under any circumstance. Well, I hate to ask a favor on our, our first encounter together, but... I have a contestant for you, our weather guy by the name of Mathis. Mark Mathis, I don't know yep. if you have uh, if you can see our monitor, but he's as crazy as a loon. And I, can you just make sure his headshot gets in front of the right people? We will do that. You, you know, have him apply to YouBetYourLife.com. We'll put him on the show. That's exactly what we want. This next guy is a weatherman from San Diego. Please welcome me. See, I, that's how it works. All right. Well, then, uh, gentlemen, it's, it's an honor to uh, have you on our airwaves, and it'll be an honor to in coming September, I believe the 13th, correct? Thanks.